A local 24 News exclusive tonight, a young man's tragedy leads to another man's miracle after a face transplant. But it isn't the first. Local 24 News reporter Tish Clark has an exclusive interview with a Senatobia man who received the first successful extensive face transplant in 2015. I don't get up and look at myself in the mirror. Meet 44-year-old Pat Hardison. He's a former volunteer firefighter in Senatobia, Mississippi. In 2001, Hardison's face was severely burned in a fire. It was every day having to get up in the morning and get ready and motivate myself enough to go through that day. These are photos of what Hardison looked like before the fire. After he was burned, then nearly 15 years later when he received the first ever full face transplant, Hardison says it gave him his life back. When he found out another young man who will be featured on 2020 was about to undergo a full face transplant, he didn't have any doubts. He can do it. He's only 26 years old. You know, I was 42 and I did mine so I can do it. I know a 26 year old can do it. I don't really have a lot of challenges, but anything I want to do, I do. Pat Hardison no longer works. He no longer fights fire. He says he focuses on being with his kids, making up for lost time. You know, take my kids to school, pick them up, take them to practices, take them to, we go to the gym, we you know, do whatever I want to do. In Senatobia, Mississippi, Tish Clark, Local 24 News. Only on Local 24 tonight, Hardison opens up in his first national interview since the transplant. Hear his life-changing story in a 2020 special tonight at 9. Then join us for Local 24 News at 10.